Um, I'm Manish Kumar, CEO and Managing Director of National Skill Development Corporation. Uh, we work on um, skilling a large workforce in India. Uh, we skill almost 5 million people every year through about 11,000 centers that we have uh, across, spread across India. And uh, my interest in Seller Academies even today was uh, the fact that you are convening um, globally best talent when it comes to skill gap and uh, how to think about skill gap, how does one bridge uh, skill gaps, how does one think about the future of skills. So I think it was a fantastic learning listening to all the great people who are assembled here. Uh, so I think what um, we realize working on skills in India is, uh, uh, is the fast changing nature of jobs itself and, and the fact that um, learning has to become more modular as it seems because the skill necessary for, for a person is also changing pretty fast and that's what the industry demands. Um, so therefore anybody who, who might be in a job or who is looking for a job uh, should be firstly adapting himself quickly to the needs of the industry and then uh, even as he is in the industry continuously up update himself and upgrade himself. So it's like lifelong learning now. It's not that you just study as you did in the past to industry 2.0 where you went from class one to maybe doing a master's course and then you got a job which, which you lived for the rest of your life. I think that's changing and uh, many students also realize that. Uh, they actually prefer to change jobs quickly too uh, because they find that their intrinsic choices uh, are better reflected in the new company that they're looking at. So even the attrition rate is getting higher than it used to be. Uh, so there is both demand and supply side movements uh, that's, that's occurring and we need to respond to that. So I think uh, one is, particularly with respect to the discussions that was occurring today, is uh, the need for popularizing digital learning because you can't have the best of teachers present everywhere. So this issue of blended learning, can you, can you have a very good teacher digitally present and then somebody uh, there in the classroom who can, um, who can maybe explain the nuances to the students. So it's like you're blending a good teacher with someone perhaps who may not qualify to be a good teacher but then is able to communicate uh, some of the issues in a more, uh, let's say, in a more, uh, what will you say, a, a way in which it is acceptable to students because it will vary. And they, this becomes more critical where languages are different. So you have uh, like we operate in 13 different languages. You have the best of teachers speaking in English. You require a via media who speaks in local language. It could be Tamil, it could be Telugu, who explains them in Tamil and Telugu what is this gentleman saying. So I think this blended learning, uh, that's I think uh, going to be important uh, for future. And uh, quite a number of courses in India occur through blended learning. 